She's your kid. <laughs> You're adopted. Huh? Yeah. You're adopted. What are you talking about? I am. <laughs> it's math with Frankie time. Nope. I'll do the math. You just count. One, two. That is math. Three. Oh! What just bit you? <laughs> Stupid grounding rod. It sh shouldn't be able to do that. Well, it did. Hey guys, welcome to Three Mississippi. I'm Mike. I'm Frankie. And we're building fences today. We started this project the other day and we got our corner post set. Came back down today and drove a bunch of T posts in the ground, which was hard work. Yeah. We should have filmed that, but we didn't. Uh, normally we like to drive these T posts in just by pressing them down with a tractor bucket. Ground this ground was too, was hard. too hard. The front of the tractor was lifting up off the ground. So we had to do them all with post drivers. So now, we got to go around and put a bunch of insulators on these things. See if we can get some electric fence run. Come here. Oh, uh -huh. dude, the big baby. Let's come up with a game plan here. Do we want to put all of one kind on one side or do we want to go like closer to the bottom, farther out, closer, farther out. So they didn't have enough of any one kind. So some of these, let me just show you. Always cut towards yourself. Some of these stand off the posts that far. Some of them stand off that far. And then some of them stand off that far. Do we wanna do one fence line where they're all barely standing off? And then one fence line where they're standing off farther or do we want to stagger them up the fence line no it can only face one way it has to face it has to face in oh frankie what what'd you do what'd you do what did you do houston these face the wrong way hey that means we can put it on that fence line then we don't even need these yeah i'm trying to figure out how bad how bad our predicament is right now cool so the ones that i originally had ha they're backwards so the ones that i originally had notice the bump is at the top the ones i just bought the bump is at the bottom these are designed the ones i just bought are designed to go on the opposite side of the fence. So they're good for that side. So we don't need those, is what I just heard. They're good for that side, but. Are all of them though? Yes. Oh wait, nope, nope. The short ones are good. Okay, all okay. right, hold on. We own something here. So those, all those face the back side of the post. That's 75. These face the front. Okay. What about these? these face the front nice okay so then we just have that for that end yeah so these are going to go down on that end so we won't need to put in any of those stakes right we, those those stakes i bought those stakes to be able to separate this into smaller paddocks yeah so i was not wanting to use those stakes so now we don't have to so now we don't have to so why don't you start on this fence line I think, uh, here's what I think we should do. I think it should be, well, we can use up the black ones first. The black ones are the same length as none. Yeah. Yeah. So we can use up the black ones first. You have 50 of those. So that'll. 
50 is start? not going to do a fence line. Not going to do a fence line? No. We got 13 posts on a fence line, and we got six strands of electric fence. 13 times six, big number that I'm not feeling like calculating. Yeah. Basically, we need 100 of them. Okay. So, okay. Here's what we should do. I think for this fence line, I'm focusing on this fence line. This fence line, the top, are those the further away ones? These, these are the closest. These ones should go on the top. Okay. Whatever your last strand is, should, I feel like, be that. All right. Prison fence style, okay? All right, so then we'll put these at the bottom. Yeah. We'll do one, two, three of these, and then we'll do four, five, six. We'll do four of these. Get your, get your calculator out. Do 13 times four. 26, that's gonna be 52. Yep. But I only got 50. Of what? Of these. The short ones? Yeah. Uh, are you counting this as part of your 50, sir? 13. Is that the short ones? Yeah. Cool, I got 75 of these. Cool. So we can use 36 of these on each of these two fence lines. So 36 divided by 13. 2.7692307. All right, Long so we can do the first two strands on each fence line with these. Okay. Okay, first two strands. We'll do the next two strands black. with the black ones. This is going to be tight. We'll, we'll see what happens. And we don't have to do, that's all goat fencing. We yeah, don't we don't have, have to worry about that. that one. We only got three to worry about, um, well, actually two to worry about, because that one over there, we're going to use those. Yeah. But. When we bought all of this stuff, we bought it all as enough to do just two fence lines. All right, so two of the shorties on the bottom. Yeah, so how, how far up do you want to do them? Um, Let's do probably where, six. Yeah, I was about to say, probably where your six is at. Twelve. What do we do down there? Six, eight, eight, eight. Yeah, six, eight, eight, twelve. No, 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 no. Hold on. You have the one at the bottom, and then you have six, eight, 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 twelve. It's six strands. How high is the one at the bottom up? I want to say it's like four inches. Do you think six inches is close enough to the ground to keep the goats from trying to go under an electric rock wire? Maybe uh, we're gonna go four, six. We're gonna do. We're gonna. We're gonna cut down on our number of strands. Okay. We're gonna go six. Here, pop one on at six. I think Stop. I might be doing something Stop. wrong. Stop. Nope. Yeah, you you are doing something wrong. You got to go between those. Oh. Okay. You were trying to do it on that. Yeah, you're right. And then this goes around the back, and then it sits on that. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do one at six, and then from there we're going to go up one, two, three, four, five. We're going to go up five. Okay. I think we can go up six now, don't you? Is that too much of a gap right there? At five. I think we can get away with just one more, don't you? Right there? Yeah. All right, so now that top one is gonna be this. Hook that like that. See that? Yeah, slide it around. Now hook that on the back. Oh, well, I gotta go that way. Because I'm, I'm claiming the shade. Three, five, five, six, or three, five, five, eight? Three, five, five, six. But you're only doing three, five, five. Well, yeah. But the black one's gonna be the last one. posts the nubs are a different space apart like I just went six on some of those down there mm. because the nubs were farther apart 
like this one is. And these, count them up and see how many we have left. Of these? Of those, so we know how many rows we can do on the bottom line. It's math with Frankie time. Nope, I'll do the math, you just count. One, two, that is math, three. Thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty-five plus twelve, thirty-six. No, thirty-seven. <laughs> thirty-seven. Y'all, I'm so smart. That's why I'm in advanced math. You took all the black ones. No, I didn't. I only took a few of the black ones. Where the rest at? Look for them. Open your eyes. I don't want to talk about it. By the way, 35 plus 12 is 36. <laughs> No way. First of all, there shouldn't have been... 25 plus 12 is 36. So you're saying that one of those bags had 25 in it? Uh, no. I dumped them both out, put 25 in one and 12 in the other, okay. which is 37, so but I said it was 36. What's 37 divided by 13? Don't be mean. <laughs> oh, thank the Lord 13. for calculating. 37 divided by 13. I'm getting there. He got me doing math right before I go to school. 2.84. So we're doing two. The bottom two rows are going to be close together. Just like your eyes. <laughs> 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 Woo! Get to work. Oh, that was funny. I don't care who you are. Uh oh. Oh, oh man, that's not and, all right. I'm good at this multiples over here these you can't be just dropping these and losing I didn't them. mean to oh it's because there's two holes in this that's not my fault that's your fault she's your kid <laughs> you're adopted you? huh yeah you're adopted what are you talking about i am <laughs> mushrooms i ain't gonna eat that it's growing out of some horse poop <laughs> Where'd it go? How y'all lose this? So it's Where back there. there. Look Where? way back behind you. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Did she just catch that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I throw things in the air for a living. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing two rows of the shorty yellows and then two rows of the blacks. And then the longer ones on top. Except for those face the wrong direction. No. Oh, that's right. We got the long longies. Watch it now. <laughs> <sighs> Nothing below, nothing above No matter how low I get, Lord you are enough Nothing can separate me from your This post? Yeah, because it's taller It's nothing a seven foot post, so it's got extra room me from your why, did, why would I put a seven foot post right here? It's just Lord, what we had King of kings I'm here to give you everything It's my whole life that I am offering I give it over to the King of Kings I give it over to the King of Kings Get to work. I was. <laughs> <laughs>
You know, I think that the whole 15 minutes that I mess around every hour or whatever you say, it's because of you. Nothing can separate me from your love. Nothing can separate me from your love. Black, then we don't need the. No, those are extra. Yeah. For now. Look at that. We still came out on top. Huh? Never mind. Then we did some math wrong. I trust my math over yours. Oh no, because instead of doing six, we're doing four. I'm just kidding. I don't know what's going on anymore. It's my whole life that I am offering I give it over to the King of Kings Well, when I woke up Cheating on her in her dream. Lord, it wasn't a thing I could do or say to change her mind in any way. She told me that things was gonna change. If I wanted her, I couldn't stay the same. So I stopped going down. Sunday. It is day two. We are back from church and Sunday lunch and all that. So uh, I was doing a couple things and Frankie and Mike dozed off as they occasionally do on Sunday afternoon. So I just went and rallied the troops because we need to get out here and get this fence, fence finished uh, because then I still got to go inside and make them dinner. So I need them to I need them to get moving. I need them to get moving. Fixing to head out there, finish running the last few strands of the electric wire, and then we've got to be able to open up the goat pen to let them out there and move um, their house and their water uh, stock tank and everything down to the bottom there. So we got to get rolling. First thing I got to do before they get out here while they're collecting themselves is the hose that runs from the spigot at the house out to the split off that goes out to the chicken coop and to the goats broke and so i've been having to jack and jill water out there and uh i don't want to do that anymore so 
This was supposed to be a hose that I got for Mike, but I need it, so I'm stealing it. So I'm gonna hook this one up. <laughs> good to go now. Hose is hooked up and operational and I see Mike has emerged so let's get to working on that fence line. Six strand fence and now we're doing four so the spacing is not quite right. Big city for the simple country life Found myself a woman that it took for me to be my way I was working on the ground come a sun up to sun time Yeah, I'm trying to make a reputation for a man inside this town Hard as I try, maybe I just can't I ain't no up and kind of leave Kissed me one time and she took my heart Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star Well, working three jobs, living out of a car Mama never told me life would get this hard Running around the world playing my guitar Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star A string. Tune down about 12 octaves. Alright, I feel like we need one. A smart, smart person would put one across the top of this fence where you can see the horse was pushing it over. Alright, Frankie. We need a couple clips. There's two more of those screwy things in the Polaris that's already fine. And we just need one. So, yeah, just go find a couple of clips. Make sure they're the ones that point the right way. Mama never told me life would get this hard. Run around the world playing my guitar. Baby, you can love me, you can leave me. I'm a honky tonk star. Yeah, I'm a honky tonk star. I'm a honky tonk star. Lord, I'm a honky tonk star. This safety rule right here was written by a true American. I, I don't know who wrote this. I hope it was written by a true American because it reads like it was written by a true American. An American who lumps people with mental challenges, children, and city slickers all in the same group. And then says, but they can be taught. Tell me if this doesn't read that way to you. This appliance is not intended for use by persons with reduced physical, sensory, or mental capabilities, children, 
or people with a lack of experience and knowledge. So see what they did there? They lumped people with reduced physical, mental capabilities, along with children, along with, how did they word that? People with a lack of experience and knowledge. So city slickers, okay? But check this out. This is, this is the part that I love. Because people always say, oh, don't let your kid do that. You're an irresponsible parent, okay? Unless they have been given supervision or instruction concerning use of the appliance by a person responsible for their safety. Like a parent, maybe, all right? I love it. Do, do you not love that? I'm sorry. That was my public address for the day. Let's get some work done. this should be on the outside of the fence well the reason I'm trying to put it on the inside is so that if something goes wrong in there your mom's gonna be coming in through here to access them if she needs to hurry up and turn the fence off she can come back into this paddock and turn it off if she has to get out there she got to go all the way up there and around so I'm trying to put it where I'm trying to mitigate future problems Oh, they are problems Tell you what, go get me them blue handle cutters. You might could run. You untie that, splice another wire to it, and run it down. That's what I'd do. Go get your roundy roundies. Uh, just bring the players over here. Okay. I'm gonna run all y'all over. No! goat in the Polaris. Just get as close to the fence as you can get without hitting it with your hands. Well, probably about there then. That's a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Hey. Gotta go all the way. Pretty far. Is it far enough or you want it at the ground? I want to split the distance. Half of what's sticking up, get it under. Good. Fence is hot, don't touch it. Oh, I'll do. Huh? Put 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 that, put that against that ground. That. Oh that against the grounding rod? Yeah. Or against the little black thing. Also if I touch the little black thing I'm not gonna get electrocuted. Um you're you're jumping all over the place, so you're not, nothing about that can electrocute you. That's ground. Okay, 9.6 kilovolts, over 9,000 volts. Now just touch the ground with it. So that's 4,500. Kind of stick it in the ground a little bit. 
I don't know if it does that. Oh! What just bit you? <laughs> Stupid grounding rod. It sh shouldn't be able to do that. Well, it did. It's hot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> just found that out for you. You're welcome. All right. Well. It can't electrocute you. Well, it didn't electrocute you. It tried. Yeah, you might have given you a little shock. So we can open this? Open that gate, that fence up, Frankie. I need the bolt cutters. Oh, that's cute. Once one of them goes, the rest of them... Tash! Come on, Bubba! Goosey! Goose! Come here! Come here, Goose! Goosey, come here! Come on, guys! Tash! Come here, Tash! That's a good girl! That's a good girl! Yes, ma'am! That's a good boy! Goats are like, nah, bro. Alright, spend some time with them, mama. Oh, look at my baby. Those are my Tash guys. Come here, my little baby. You got something on your back. He don't care. Come on, Coos. So right now, I'm walking Coosey around the edge so he sees where the perimeter is. Tash good. <laughs> went up to the spicy fence and found out what it's all about and bolted <laughs> not out of the pen she went back to her little her little house and so they're actually right now while I'm out here with the goats and the dog the one dog they're up there starting to move um, all of their stuff their houses and the, their shade stuff and all that so I'm just taking Coosie down here to show them the perimeter the idea was to take Tashka with, with me so we could do it together, but she got freaked out when she touched the spicy fence. So Kusi is a little more familiar with spicy fences than she is. So uh, I trained him with them in the chicken run and I've trained her a little bit, but that fence uh, wasn't very hot. So it, it didn't really do anything to her um, when we were training in there. So but he's familiar with it. So he has kept his distance, as you can see, he's staying on the outside edge. Normally he likes to be on the inside edge of the fence, but he's like, oh, that's a, that's a spicy fence. <laughs> so he knows. He's a good boy though, huh, Coos? Coos is a good boy. Yeah, so we're just walking the perimeter so he can see where his new territory is and get a feel for it. Beulah hasn't come up to the side that borders yet. Um, but I'm sure she will at some point. One of her favorite spots is now in here where she like bent the fence to eat the grass on the inside towards the garden. And that's electrified. So she, and, and she can't get to that side, but she could get to this side where she would have access to the goats and dogs. So she'll find out <laughs> that it's spicy too. Koozie, come on. Hey, hey, guys, come here. Staying on this side. Staying on this side. Come on, yes. Come on, Tash. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna go for our walk. Come on. We gotta walk around the perimeter. They got lots of fresh food to eat now. They are happy. And they get a little more natural shade down here as well with this big tree big beautiful tree in this pasture lots of saplings out here too for them to eat as you can see All right. the water. getting their water set up Yeah. Okay.
Well, that's it. It took us four work days to get this area cleared, the fence posts and T posts put in, and the electric wires run and the fence cut so they had to come out here and get all their stuff moved out here. So, but now they've got all this extra land here, all this pasture that they can munch on, which is fantastic. They are happy, happy. They're gonna love it. If, as long as they don't get too close to the spicy fence, they'll be fine. <laughs> Thank you guys for following along with our fence journey here. There's gonna be more fences. We have so much more to do around here. There always is, but we appreciate you guys following along on the journey. And as always, stay blessed and remember, helicopter. Safety's off. <laughs>